practice in Nebraska been like? Um, I mean, it's been pretty smooth. I mean, I'm going on my fourth year in college, so it's it's a lot of what I expected. Only thing that's kind of shocking me right now is the weather. You know, <laughs> it's a little cold out there, but other than that, it's going pretty good. What's the message from from Coach Rule from Coach Sat about that weather and why they have you guys out there throwing in the, in the cold instead of the nice warm indoor? I mean, they just want to see if the team can handle being in tough situations and um. I think for us that the biggest thing is I'm overcoming challenges and um, I mean I don't know about y'all but I look at the code as a challenge so just being out there and fighting through it that's something that builds toughness in us and changes our mindsets on how we look at things. You had to deal with that before even if it was just for one game or anything like that? Not really. <laughs> I mean I think the coldest I think the coldest I've ever been in was like 47 so Yeah, you just got to embrace it. I mean, I think I've been doing a good job at handling it. But, I mean, I've approached it different. Like, the first day I had on long sleeves, and I was like, Jeff, it's not going to help you out. So I've been going no sleeves and just been out there, you know, fighting it. And it's it's, it's cool. I'm kind of getting used to it, so it's good. Just generally speaking, what's been your impression of the offense so far? Um, I think it's a very good offense. Um, I think we learn, we retain information very good, um, and we just go out there and we fight every day. Um, I think the biggest thing I like about the offense is how when we get a lot of stuff thrown at us, we just handle it and we don't complain, we don't pout, we just go out there and do it. What's your early sense on what this offense does in terms of running? I think we're, I think we're a real balanced offense. I think. The run game is very good. We got good running backs, and the old line is they're very good in run blocking. And then in the pass game, we got receivers that's hungry. You know, they're ready to go out there and get the ball. And the, and the pass blocking has been tremendous in practice. Does this offense fit your skill set? Yes, it does. It really does. And I think Cosette does a good job at just installing and teaching everything and just showing us how things are done and showing us the way he likes it. He's very detailed. When you come into a team with a return starter, what's your overall approach mentally how to handle that? Um, you just got to approach it how you approach anything else. I mean, you got to go in there working on yourself. And, um, I mean, you can't worry about all the outside noise or anything. Of course, there's going to be competition anywhere, but um, you just got to go in there and worry about getting yourself better each day and um, just hoping that the competition brings the best out of you. What's been that dynamic like between you and Casey and, and you know all of the quarterbacks, particularly the two of you guys, since you have the most experience, how how is uh, how is how has he helped at all with your, your uh, transition? Casey's definitely a very helpful guy. I mean, for a guy that's hurt right now and can't really do much, he's he's here every night, you know, watching film, helping out Jack. Um, and just he's he's just a helpful guy. He you could tell he has that experience and he's been a leader for a while because he's definitely a natural born leader. Um, his biggest goal is to see everybody at their best, and you can definitely tell by the way he brings himself every day. How do you sort of walk that line between getting acclimated and wanting to be a leader? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm a quarterback, so I'm, an, I'm always going to lead, and I'm always going to find ways to just influence people. So my biggest thing was just to get acclimated as fast as I could, and just build relationships on the team and talk to people. And um, I think that's helped me a lot because I'm starting to, you know, I'm starting to get comfortable with everybody and it's starting to be very good. A couple more questions, Chris, Hey, Jeff, what, what, um, you know, what was the focus for you in this off season before you, know, you got into the throwing here? Um, when you did stuff on your own, or, you know, outside of Lincoln, and, and you develop, your development as a quarterback? <clears throat> I think the focus for me was just learning how to master everything, like learning how to master playbook, mechanics, all that, just so I can be more consistent than I've, than I've ever been. And that's been one of my biggest goals coming into this offseason and going into this spring and going into next season, just building that consistency, consistency each day. You, you know, did you know much about Coach Rule? He, he seemed to know quite a bit about you from you know, Coach Collins and they go way back. 
did you know much about him? Like as soon as he got the Nebraska job, how, how quick was it for you to, uh, you know, to have them on your radar? So um, obviously coming from Coach Collins, he, him, he used to talk about Coach Rule a lot because, you know, they're, they're friends. So um, I definitely knew about Coach Rule. And um, once I hopped into and he hit me up, I was like, Right, I got Coach Rule right here. I'm coming from Coach Collins. It could be a good thing for me. So it was definitely something that I looked into early. Uh, we have a motto on this team, and that's to get one better every day. And um, it'll be successful if all of us can get 1% better each day and um, just go out there and fight every day and improve things that we need to work on. Next thing for you. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Going good? Thank you, guys. Thanks, Jeff. This one, this podium.